Hello all, it's Jim Johnson, a.k.a. Sulphur Blade, and welcome back to the political process, where we're gonna, well, jump right into the actual gameplay. We we got kind of the the beginning portion of the game done, where we kinda, I went over my basic political beliefs and and things of that nature i i got my party affiliation i created the the look of my character i selected where in the world my my character is from and and little things like that in fact and i also chose my new chief of staff here Cherise. so we got a lot done in the first episode and I really have to say that I'm excited about this about this uh, this let's play on this game because while this game might look like a kind of bland spreadsheet simulator type game, I think it gives me a lot of opportunity to communicate with you, the viewer. And so this this relationship between me the YouTuber and you the viewer is kind of enhanced. It enhances the game. It enhances your entertainment because it's it's such a simple game that's so wonderfully in depth and revolves around a topic that one that I I could talk about quite a bit. So I think this is going to be a cool Let's Play. I really do. With that being said, I kind of forgot to say, if you're under the age of 13, go the fuck away. Uh, this, this, this content is not made for you. This is not a video for kids. Um, uh, this is adult programming. So please, exit stage right. With uh, that out of the way, let's go ahead and actually dive into this game. <clears throat> so you do not currently have a job. To find a job, go to the jobs page. So I have a chief of staff, but I don't really have an office yet. So why do I have a chief of staff? I mean, is, is she, you know, she, she must really believe in me to be my chief of staff before I've even gotten elected as a politician. And uh, I, I like how we're going to the jobs page because, you know, that's that's how everybody runs for office. They just, you know, look it up in the jobs page. But yeah, it's a video game, so there's, there's got to be some game-like attributes to it. So we got school board member. Um, description. The school board creates a school policy and creates the school district budget. The school board also has the authority to collect taxes. Uh, the term length is four years. The salary is $30,000. And the deadline, uh, I guess, to apply for the job is six weeks. Uh, city council member. Description. The city council is the legislative branch of the city. It writes legislation and pass the city law. The city council works in coordination with the mayor to create the city budget. Term length is four years. Salary is 30000 Deadline is six weeks. Mayor. Um, the mayor is uh, the leader of the city's executive branch, oversees the administration of the city's agencies and departments. The mayor is also responsible for creating the city budget. Uh, using budget requests from each city department to draft a budget proposal, all city legislation must be signed by the mayor before it becomes law. The term is four years and the salary is 60000 with a deadline to apply in six weeks. And then there's also party chair for the city campaign committee. The party chair is responsible for supporting party candidates in their electoral campaigns. This includes recruiting candidates who are likely to win, selecting a party platform that voters will support, adjusting the campaign platform of each candidate to match the values of their district, and using available resources to increase turnout, register voters, and influence public opinion. You will be responsible for overseeing the recruitment and campaign process of the school board, city council, and mayoral candidates. The salary is 30000 and the deadline to apply is 17 weeks. 
So, I have an idea. I am going to apply and run for mayor because it pays the most money here. It sounds the most interesting. But if I fail to win the election, I have another, what is it, 11 weeks to apply to become the party chair for the city campaign committee. So I'm going to use that campaign committee as my fallback option if I don't actually get elected as mayor. So let, let's, let's, let's become the mayor of Phillips, shall we? Description. The campaign manager organizes the general strategy of the campaign, delegating tasks to other staff members. So, I ha I'm getting absolutely no information about you, other than Victoria is a 27-year-old girl with pink lipstick and sad eyes and big ears. Stacy Hoffman is a 60-year-old woman that has masculine features. Maybe it's a guy? I think it's a girl, though. Uh, because of the long white hair, I'm thinking it's an old lady that looks like a guy. And that's kind of creepy. And then there's Philip Phelps, who's, you know, a pleasant-looking older gentleman who I, you know, when I think of somebody I could look at as being my campaign manager it's philip phelps there the, he, he's the guy i i have no other information to go on i don't know how good they are at their jobs but i'm just gonna go with the guy since i have no idea how good any of these people are at their jobs so you know call me a misogynist or whatever i don't care welcome to the election campaign the primary election will occur in 18 weeks. There is much to do before that time. The most important goal for any candidate is to increase name recognition. People vote for the candidate they know. Increase your name recognition by engaging with voters, knocking on doors to introduce yourself to your constituents, recruit volunteers to make phone calls, deploy marketing campaigns to reach a larger audience, and contact local organizations to learn the interests of your community. A second important element of the campaign is to communicate a message that resonates with the voters. You can learn voter priorities and concerns by knocking on doors or by conducting polls. But before you get started, you need to create your campaign platform. The foundation of your campaign, it expresses the top three priorities that you intend to address if you're elected and it serves as the basis for all your campaign events. The campaign platform is what you will communicate to voters during speeches and rallies. It's also what volunteers use when they interact with voters. The platform can be changed at any time by going to the policy tab in the campaign menu. I also highly recommend that you read the election section in the concepts menu. You can view the concepts menu by clicking on the concepts button below my portrait on the campaign overview page. Good luck, your campaign manager, Philip Phelps. Thank you, Philip. All right, campaign platform. Description, please select a camp campaign platform priority. The economic campaign platform focuses on how the candidate intends to improve and grow the economy. That's a good one. I like that one. The tax campaign platform focuses on adjusting taxes, tax laws to either improve the economy, make the government more efficient, reduce the tax burden on citizens, or a combination of all these goals. The poverty priority. The poverty campaign platform focuses on ways to address poverty. It may include raising the minimum wage, Raising the minimum wage. How am I supposed to raise the minimum wage? I'm a mayor inside of a town in the United States. I don't have the authority to raise minimum wage. Creating programs to assist the impoverished. Redistribu redistributing wealth or improving the economy to help reduce the number of impoverished citizens. Crime priority. The crime 
campaign platform focuses on reducing crime and improving the justice system. Well, we're, the, Phillips is a small town in 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 rural America. We we don't have crime. Sorry. Gun priority? No, 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 no. We we most definitely are not going to campaign about uh, gun policies inside of Phillips, Wisconsin, where everybody's a hunter. That's a bad idea. Infrastructure priority. The infrastructure campaign platform focuses on improving infrastructure such as roads and bridges. You know what? If I know my rural America, they are most definitely concerned with the quality of their roads and getting rid of the potholes. So this is definitely going to be my primary policy going forward is improving the quality of the roads in and around Phillips, Wisconsin. All right. Um, select campaign promise. Do not make a campaign promise at this time. Reduce road conjunction by building more roads or improve road quality by increasing road maintenance budget. Current road quality is 68%. Huh. Increasing the budget. It's not something I necessarily want to do, but okay, yeah. Uh, the infrastructure campaign platform focuses on da da da. Okay, please select a campaign platform priority. Uh, tax priority. No, I don't think taxes. I don't think the mayoral level really involves taxes, or it shouldn't. I'm going to go with economic priority. Increase minimum wage. I don't have, reduce city property tax. Increase per capita income. Increase per capita income to a value above 53,350. That's a lot of money. What does that mean? That everybody in my... There's no way. No. 53000 If If everyone made $53,350 inside of my my town, that would just be craziness. That's, that's a huge amount of money. Um... We're not going to make any specific promises, but the economic campaign platform is a priority. Well, I guess we'll see what this tax priority is here see how realistic the game is. City property taxes. Okay, that makes sense. Um, do I want to reduce city property taxes at the same time that I'm going to spend more money to improve the roads? Well, that would... It would be a Republican thing to do, right? R reduce taxes and... Yeah, why not? Let's, let's get elected. Everybody wants less property taxes. All right, the primary election takes place in 18 weeks. This district has open primaries. 
independent voters can vote in this primary. Contact organizations in your community to better understand your community's needs and increase your name recognition. You can do this by clicking on the Contact tab. Medical Association, Nurses Association. There's not even a hospital in Phillips, but okay. Organization for Racial Equality. Okay. Retiree Association. That sounds like something to reach out for in rural America. Hello, I'm Audrey James, a representative for the Retiree Association. You should come to one of our events to get to know our interests a little better. I'll update you next time we have an event planned. Excellent. An organization that advocates for the rights and general welfare of retirees. Ideology is moderate. Priority, retirees. Policy interest, attend an event to learn policy interests. Okay, I'm all for this. Commerce conglomerate. That could be interesting. Mr. Johnson, my name is Stanley Hearn. I'm a representative of the National Commerce Conglomerate. I see that your views and our views are contrary to one another. Perhaps you would like to attend one of our events and hear the perspectives of some of our members. Maybe we can convince you to change some of your policies. The next time we hold an event, I will let you know about it. Okay, I, I look forward to hearing your side of the, the story. Oh, yeah, let's let's talk to the Organization for Gun Rights. Why not? Hi, my name is Phil Barker. I'm a representative of the Organization for Gun Rights. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm so happy to meet a politician who shares the same values and interests as our organization. I expect some of the other members would really enjoy meeting you. I hope you can make it to our next event. I look forward to seeing you there. All right, let's 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 talk to the Association of Teachers and Parents, even though I don't think they're going to like me very much. Mr. Johnson, my name is Percival Dickinson. I'm a representative of the Association of Teachers and Parents. I see that your views and our views are contrary to one another. Perhaps you would like to attend one of our events and hear the perspective of some of our members. Maybe we can convince you to change some of your policies. The next time we hold an event, I will let you know about it. Right. Do I have to contact all of these people? I think f maybe four is enough, right? National Labor Union. I don't really agree. I don't... I'm, I'm not a big union supporter. 
Though this might not be union per se. Uh, let's make the introduction. Mr. Johnson, my name is Bob Lamar. I'm a representative of the National Labor Union. I see that your views and our views are contrary to one another. Perhaps you would like to attend one of our events and hear the perspective of some of our members. Maybe we can convince you to change some of your policies. The next time we hold an event, I'll let you know about it. Yeah, they really don't trust me, huh? All right, I think that's enough contacts. All right, what's next? Guess we click on things. Um, Dale Kimura here. Looks like he's the the President of the United States. Interesting. President Dale. I think these are the metrics of the office I'm running for. And I happen to be running on infrastructure, which is kind of interesting, because it's in the red. I happen to be running on taxation, which is interesting, because it's in the red. And economy, which is also in the red. So I might have picked the right things to run on. I think the Native American slice would be a little bit bigger here than the Hispanic slice, guys. Um, Native American, 85. Population by... Population's wrong. Uh, that's, that's, that's way more people than are in Phillips. Uh, way more African Americans than are in Phillips. Way more Hispanics. Um, too many Asians, too. Native Americans, not quite enough. But hey, you're you're kind of close, so I'll give you that. A 12% dropout rate? Yeah, it seems a bit high, guys. Per capita income is just bizarrely too high. Coal, natural gas, nuclear, hydroelectric, wind, almost no solar. Oh, look at this. This looks awesome. 
this is going to be so fun to to mess with all these numbers and get a balanced budget. I am looking forward to it. All right, at this point, um, increase your recognition. You can do this by clicking on the contact tab. I did that. Uh, finances, name recognition, one person. Oh, our name's not rec very recognized yet. Uh, voter enthusiasm represents the percentage of voters who support your campaign message. If you express ideas that voters like, voter enthusiasm will increase. If you express ideas they dislike, voter enthusiasm will decrease. See the concepts page. So I'm doing well, actually. Fifty-five, education, fifty-three, poverty, fifty-eight, taxes, twenty-nine, support for candidate policies. They don't like my tax policies. That's to be understood. Door knocking, 40 hours, knock on doors. Okay, Bud West is the current incumbent mayor. <clears throat> He's a moderate. His uh, social ideology is very conservative, age 32. So we're going to have to knock out a fellow Republican if we're going to get the job, huh? Select a marketing topic. Uh. I, I don't have any money. I thought I gave myself some money. Evidently, I didn't.
Oh, donate personal funds. Ah, uh, here's where we get into the weeds. <clears throat> Voter enthusiasm has gone down. That's terrible. Messages. This is off. Uh, learn more about the game by clicking on Towns. So whenever you're ready to advance to the next week, click the next turn. Fundraising is not available unless you hold a political office. Okay. A protege is a person who's guided by a mentor to help advance the career of the protege. The protege will copy all your policies and will run for election in whichever district you decide. If a protege does not have a position when you dismiss them, they will not run for any election and they will disappear from the political world. Okay. No protege, though. I think... I think we've done what we can do for this particular turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, our name recognition is up to 39%. We've lost some enthusiasm with Democrats. Uh, our enthusiasm is maintaining with the Republicans and we've lost some enthusiasm with independence. All right, so we did some good old door knocking. Can we do some more? Currently no events available. So let's go to the next week. Campaign funds, remaining funds, 110. So we still have some funds left, huh? All right, we got our internet ad out there for only ninety-eight dollars. That was pretty, uh, pretty good, I think.
we can go back out there and knock on some more doors. Okay, things haven't changed much. I think we got a little bit of Republican growth there. All right, let's go to the next turn. I still have some campaign funds. I swear I had like $100 left. Interesting. Well, let's... Knock on some more doors. Okay. And let's uh, go back to marketing. How much is a radio ad? Probably more than I can afford. Television ad is definitely more than I can afford. Another internet ad, maybe? Events. Door knocking while I was walking to the neighborhood. Rally options. Rallies are a way for candidates to get voters excited about the election. Rallies increase voter enthusiasm and sway public vision. They also increase voter turnout. They do not influence name recognition. Some undecided voters may attend rallies to help determine how they will vote. Um, I don't think I can afford a rally. Darn it. Fundraising. Ooh. Let's 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 raise some funds, guys. You do not have enough remaining hours to perform this task. Zero hours remaining. Uh huh. I'm starting to understand now. That's pretty cool. This game is really fairly in depth. Volunteer activity schedule. Door knocking. Phone bank. Fundraising, yard signs. Oh, I can train these people. Very cool. Okay, I think we made some campaign funds. Let's 
Let's get out there and do some fundraising for 10 hours, say. $530. Woohoo! We're rich! Okay, let's hold a rally. Effect on public opinion. A little bit on the Republicans. Total increase to turnout 35, voter turnout plus 35 attendance. With 34. Okay. Right, why is that part of OBS jumping through this? There, that's better. Okay, events. We have 40 hours remaining. How are we on finances right now? Campaign has five hundred and seven dollars. Okay. Hello, I'm Christian Palmer, a representative for the Environmental Association. You could come to one of our events to get to know our interests a little better. I'll update you next time we have an event planned. Oh, they kind of like me. Yeah, um, going and talking to the Democrats is probably a bad idea. I think I'm losing possible votes from them by doing that. Learn the hard way, evidently.
Interview option. Interviews are a great way to increase name recognition. They also influence voter enthusiasm and public opinion. There are currently no interviews available, increasing the skill level of your press secretary may increase the number of interview opportunities. Interview opportunities may also depend on the size of the election. Local print interviews. Phillips, Readers, 2,833. I didn't get to answer any questions. It's just, uh, okay. Well, I guess. Speeches, no speeches. Can we afford a rally? Oh, we have 917, yeah we can. So, back to events. Plus one with Republicans and Independents. Tax, huh? I would like to talk to the Clean Energy Pact. They like me. I like them. Right, Republican Party has 64% trust in me, so fairly trusted. I have 100% name recognition. So that is a good thing, I suppose. We'll do 10 hours to get some more funds, because that money is good. We will hold a rally. Excellent.
Let's go ahead and knock on those doors. Oh wow, that's expensive. That's less expensive. That's still really expensive. Yeah. No poles right now. Nope, not doing that. Need to get some of those signs out there on people's yards. No interviews to do. No speeches. Could have a rally. Could do some fundraising. We're gonna gonna completely fundraise. the The whole the whole uh, week is gonna be fundraising. All right. Do a rally. Oh, rallies take five hours. That's good to know. All right, we're going to do an ad on TV about our infrastructure. Didn't I do that? Well, that ad seemed to have been useless.
So this game doesn't play very well with OBS. I'm not sure why. Right, we have a little bit of funds now. yet to give a speech. These guys are too much to train. We've used all of our hours, so let's go to the next turn. Okay, we got 40 hours remaining. We got a 57% approval rating right now. the rally. Nice. I think. Put it all into fundraising. We have almost 8,000 in campaign funds, so maybe we might be able to do a poll now. Let's wait. We'll do a poll later when we have the 10,000. All right, we have the 10,000, so here we go. Name recognition. So pretty much all the candidates have a, a, a recognized name. <coughs> Approval rating. 
I'm at 57%, which is the second highest of the candidates. Kylie Walker has a 60% approval rating. And she seems to be the Democrat candidate, so... She's quite high with Democrats. I am very high with Republicans. She's got more approval with independents than I do. Voter enthusiasm. Uh, Republicans. I don't know. It's looking bad. It's looking like Kylie Walker uh, has things going more enthusiastically her way. Um, Bud West, the incumbent, is a little higher than me right now. Well, oh, that's that was a lot of money to tell me we're we're not uh, doing so well right now. Gotta keep having those those rallies. I missed out on that print interview. Um,
Go, go, rally, rally. Let's check out those concepts, just in case I'm missing something big here. The layout of the game consists of tabs connected to menus. The most prominent menus in the game are the office, campaign, political election, metrics, profile, news menus. These are the top most tabs on the screen. Clicking on any of these tabs will open the corresponding menu, office menu. This menu will sh is where you will spend most of your time as a politician when you are not campaigning. The summary sub menu will show you all of your messages, da 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 da. Campaign menu. This menu is where you will conduct all of your election campaigns. This is true for campaigns as a politician, as a party chair. To learn more about the campaigns, look at the concept page in the elections category. To learn more about the party chair position, go to the party chair. Um, the events sub-menu allows you to participate in campaign events, such as door knocking, speeches, interviews, rallies, and fundraisers. You can learn about the other tabs in the campaign menu by looking at relevant concept pages under election category. Mayor creates city laws, da, 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 da. campaign basics. The election campaign takes place over the course of 44 weeks, starting on week one and ending with the general election during week 45. The goal of the election campaign is to increase name recognition, increase voter enthusiasm, and gain the support of likely voters. There are many methods to accomplish these goals, which you can read about by reading the other sections in the election category of this document. It's where you find general synopsis, campaign campaign difficulty. There are many aspects influencing how difficult a campaign is to win. One of the key aspects is party demographic. If you are a traditional Democrat, Democratic in a district that's 80% Republican, it's unlikely you will win the election. Another aspect influencing campaign difficulty is the type of election. Lower level elections such as an election for school board or city council are easier to win than higher level elections such as governor and U.S. senator. Candidates in lower-level elections are less skilled as politicians and thus are not as effective at campaigning. They will gain name recognition and influence public opinion slower than higher-level politicians. There are currently five types of campaign events, door-knocking, speeches, interviews, rallies, fundraising. PAC donations or donations from political action committees. I wonder. Hmm. Okay.
No, I read that out. Keep holding those rallies. Keep raising those funds. All right, we got a bunch of growth with that. Uh-oh, it's not looking good. What? What? I was beat by Bud West by... 69 votes. That's right, I lost this election by... 69 votes. I demand a recount! <clears throat> The primary campaign has ended. Unfortunately, we did not get enough votes for you to become your party's nominee. Everyone has lost an election before. It's part of politics. But you have gained some name recognition and have a better understanding of your community's values. Do not get discouraged. It's time to start preparing for your next election. All right, this seems like a good place to to put a break in this episode. I lost my first attempt at becoming mayor of Phillips. I am now a loser. I lost by 69 votes to the incumbent Republican mayor. Oh well. Say la vie. Anyway, I'm James Johnson, a.k.a. Sulphur Blade. Hopefully you're enjoying this content. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time, all, peace.